you some I keep wanting to say Not until you pay me Or when you should be studying Stop everything, stop the internet It's one of the few things I actually bought for food when I was in college No way you are You do Today we're gonna give it the old college try with 10 of our easiest dorm DIYs Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey. Hey, my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. Welcome back to another episode of College Try. <laughs> if you guys don't know, this is the series where we make things that are easy to do in your dorm room. They're gonna be affordable, they're not gonna include power tools, we're gonna include some hacks. Today's episode is a little bit more special. I've been thinking about all our past videos and realized there are so many quality DIYs we've made in past years that actually fit perfectly into this theme where they're affordable, they don't require any specific power tools or any weird items to make. So we figured that maybe some of you guys actually haven't even seen these videos because they're, you know, they've been around for a while. They've been around. So we went through our videos and found 10 DIYs that can qualify as college tries. Yes, so today we're gonna break down what those 10 DIYs are, why they're great for dorm college life, and what materials you need to make them, which is not a lot. Okay, I'm gonna start with the first one. Okay, so first up, one DIY that we suggest that you make if you are in college is the hidden compartment plant. Reasons we love this is because A, we love plants, but B, sometimes plants can be difficult to keep alive in dorm rooms, so don't worry, this one isn't real. But on top of that, it doubles as a hidden storage container to put things that you don't want people to find. This one is so simple to make. All you need for this is a faux plant, a pot, some scrap cardboard, a hot glue gun, and some rocks. If you are a fan of the Hidden Compartment DIY trend on a whole and want more places to hide things around your dorm room, I suggest you check out the Hidden Compartment DIY video that this one was featured in for even more inspo. From one of our Dollar Store Challenge videos, Becky made a picture frame organizer. So to create this, all you need is three thrifted or I guess dollar store frames and 10 C hooks that you can screw into the tops and then some whiteboard markers and some scrap paper to put it. And then you have an organizer and you definitely don't need to put nails in your wall or anything to hold this up. You could definitely do it just with some sticky hooks because the frames aren't too heavy, so that should hold. And now you have a way to organize everything. Keep yourself on schedule for your classes. Next up we have the No Sew Fanny Pack. So this one is great if you're just in college and you wanna be rocking the modern styles but don't have budget for them. This one is amazing because A, it takes no sewing skills at all to make and B, it can be totally assembled from thrift store items. So this is essentially a fanny pack made from a thrifted wallet and a thrifted belt. And all you need is an X-Acto knife to put this together. So if you are lucky enough and cool enough to have a record player in your dorm room and you need a place to store your records, you can actually turn a dish rack into a record storage holder rack. Record rack? So we did this in one of our thrift flip episodes. To complete the record holder, all you'd need is a thrifted dish rack, some spray paint, as well as a pre-cut piece of wood that you can then paint or stain. They actually have these stain wipes, so you don't have to buy like all the stain materials. They're literally like, they look like wet wipes, but they're stained. So if you wanna use those to stain some wood in your college dorm, give them a try. Next, we have a rug that you can totally make yourself from scratch. I know rugs can be super duper pricey, so if you are in school, maybe there isn't budget for that. But this one is actually quite affordable to do. The only thing is it's quite time consuming. But if you're looking for an activity to do in the evenings or when you should be studying, this one's great. It's actually quite relaxing to do. And you can make it in whatever color scheme you want to fit your room and whatever design you want as well. So to make this, all you're going to need is some chunky yarn in whatever color you want, some plastic chicken wire, a crochet hook tool, and a Sharpie and some paper. And a lot of time. This one looks so, so, so good. As you can see in the shots here, absolutely love it. So next up, an idea that you can do in your college dorm is marbleizing. So from our spring and Easter DIYs video where we played with smell vision if you remember the video, we actually marbleized something. So it's so easy. All you need is a bin and some water and then some nail polish out of your beauty drawer. And then you can just dip whatever item in it and kind of rotate it to marbleize it. So you can do this with like a little cup that's gonna hold your pens or a mug. Lots of different options and you can customize some stuff in your dorm room. So next up we have some wall art, some room decor. These things are amazing, they're my favorite because they're so easy to do and you can totally customize them. So we have the moon ring art from our ring art three ways video. This one looks like a gorgeous crescent moon that you can hang on your wall and it's so easy to make yourself. 
all you need are some rings from the craft store, some embroidery thread, a pair of scissors, and some charms, which you can also pick up from the craft store. If you wanna know more things that you can very easily make with the rings as well, if you're already going out to purchase them, I suggest you watch the full video for more inspo. Now in your dorm room, you might need some extra storage, a place to put some extra like purses or bags or like bedding or towels or something. And baskets can be really expensive, like a nice basket is like 40 or $50. But we can make our own kind of cool modern basket, which is a giant paper bag. I know that sounds like underwhelming. They're really cool, they're really effortless looking, and they're also effortless to make. For this, you'll need a roll of craft paper, some scissors, some spray paint or whatever kind of paint you can get your hands on, as well as a good old glue stick. These are great because you can make them in absolutely any size that you want. Like if you have a shelf that's a certain size, you can make your paper bag to fit that shelf. We actually still use these. We still have our paper bags. I love them. Okay, so this one is an oldie, but seriously a goodie, and it's so on theme for college student life. So this is a document holder literally made from a cereal box. It's one of the few things I actually bought for food when I was in college was cereal, so I'm sure you have a cereal box kicking around, and this is a way to turn that into a gorgeous holder for your desk. So to make this, all you're going to need is that cereal box I was talking about, some scissors, a ruler, a sharpie, and some contact paper in whatever colors or patterns you choose. And last but not least, we have, this one's a little bit older of ours, but it is a gold hand decor. I'm sure you guys have seen kind of like the gold hands they make in all the, the symbols. Hopefully none of those were offensive. But we actually found a kit on Amazon and a while back we made this DIY where you can make a mold of your hand and then you fill it with plaster and Paris and then we went ahead and painted it gold and you can have this kind of cute hand decor. And all you need for this is some gold paint and the hand mold kit, which we will definitely link below and any other paint colors that you want, like a little white Sharpie pen or something to decorate your gold hand. It can also be a ring holder as well if you make sure that the fingers are kind of like up then you have yourself a ring holder. Cute, simple, easy, dorm ready. All right, thank you guys for tuning into this episode of College Track. Yeah, when we were actually going through the list of finding things that worked for this video, we actually found a lot more than just these 10 items that worked so well for the College Track theme. So if you guys would be interested in a part two, you can let us know in the comments below. Yeah, and we also link our other College Try episodes where we actually make like three new DIYs, mm -hmm. um, usually three, right? Yeah, uh, around there. Around there. Um, that would be perfect for your dorm. So this is great for any of you that are going back to school, going to school for the first time, or just like your small apartment, whatever. You do you, and I know that you guys are gonna make some awesome things with some inspiration here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys like it, make sure that you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. All right, welcome to the end slate, and this like stop the presses. Like stop everything, stop the internet, because this DIY was recreating our bamboo bag DIY, but we are totally one-upped because they used chopsticks to create it. I can't believe how beautiful this turned out. Make sure you guys are using hashtag Stargirl Squad when you create your DIY creations because we want to see them and share them like this because I'm just, I'm dead and I love it. Thank you for sending in your DIYs.